Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and today's topic is invoicing with GNU Cash free accounting software. This tutorial will be done in parts because we have quite a bit to cover, starting with preparing the system for invoicing. Once you finish the first part of this series, we can move on to invoicing. If you like my tutorials and it is helpful to you, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. I would appreciate it and it lets me know I'm being helpful and that encourages me to want to do more. Let's begin. Invoicing in accounting terms is a part of the accounts receivables. Accounts receivable is money that is owed to you such as your invoice to clients. Sales invoices serve as an official record of a sale for both the buyer and the seller. GNU Cash has an integrated accounts receivable system. It is within this account that the integrated accounts receivable system will place transactions. You generally do not work directly with this account. You generally work with the four integrated GNU Cash accounts receivable application components. The four components are customers, invoices, customer jobs, process payments. But before you begin invoicing a new cash, there are four things you should set up first. Number one, you need to set up sales tax. You will use the sales tax table to set up the sales tax percentage or value you will assign to taxable invoices. Of course, you will need to know how much sales tax you are required to collect from your customers on behalf of your state in order to enter that data into GNU Cash. You can also create a sales tax to assign to vendor bills, but as for taxes paid to vendors, it would depend on how you handle taxes paid to vendors. If, if you're unsure how taxes charged by vendors are handled for tax purposes, speak with your accountant or financial advisor. To set up the sales tax table that you will use for the sales tax you collect on invoices you create, select from the menu bar business and when the menu opens select sales tax table. When the dialog box opens select new. In the name text box field, enter a name for the tax table. I entered sales tax. In the text table entry type, here you can enter a percentage or a value depending on the sales tax you are required to collect from your customers. If you are required to collect a specific dollar amount, click on the drop down arrow and select value and enter that amount into the text box. Since in my state I am required to collect 6% sales tax from my customers, I used percentage and entered 6 into the text box provided. Now this is the tricky part. In the account field below, you need to select the transaction account to post sales tax to. You can use a default tax account in the chart of accounts or create a new account under liabilities. I chose to create a new account under liabilities and I named it sales tax. Since sales tax is collected by the seller and owed to the government, it is up to you whether you want to treat sales tax as a liability. I don't know if I would treat it as an expense because it's really not an expense. If you're not sure, consult your accountant. In this example, I selected the sales tax account by clicking on the small arrow on the left hand side of liabilities to open up the sub menu and I clicked on sales tax to select it. Then OK to finish up. Here I can see the sales tax table I created and on the other side the liabilities account that will keep track of the sales tax. Now, depending on how you handle sales tax paid to vendors, you can create another tax table to assign to vendor bills. When you are finished here, you can close out the dialog box.
The next thing you need to do is enter your company information into the system and select the sales tax table you just created and set up the invoice numbering system, which is optional. Keep in mind the things we are doing now is only step number two of the things we need to do before we begin to use GNU Cash Accounts Receivable feature to do invoicing. Now that you have your tax tables set up, it is time to register your company information in the system. When you register your company in GNU Cash, you are telling the system what information you want to appear on the invoices you create in GNU Cash. To begin, select File, and when the menu opens, select Properties. The Book Options window opens. Select the Business tab. The information you will enter here is pretty much self-explanatory. Enter any company information here you want to appear on your invoices. A nonprofit organization may not have any problem with their tax ID being on their invoices. The most important thing you need to do here is scroll down until you see the default customer tax table option. Here you will click on the options box drop down arrow and select the sales tax table you created in the previous tutorial. This will be the sales tax you will assign to your customer invoices that you are required to collect taxes from. You can also select a vendor tax table if you created one which is optional. Nothing else here needs to be changed. You can leave the default as is and select apply to apply the changes. Now I just want to point out one thing while we are here on the book options screen. If you are like I am, you might not necessarily want your invoices to start at the number one, which is what it will do with the default settings. If you want to change the starting numbers of any one of the forms you will use in GNU Cash, select counters on the book options tab and as you can see here you have various options you can set the starting number for. Right now we will focus on invoices. To change the starting number for your invoices scroll down to invoice and enter the number before the number you want your invoice to start at. For instance if I wanted my invoices to start at 101 I would enter 100 instead of 0 in the invoice number field text box. Now if you prefer you can just leave the default at 0 and the system will automatically generate the preceding numbers starting with the number 1. When you are all finished with the book option screen select OK to a plain period setup. The next and last step before you begin invoicing is to tell the system how you want to handle your invoice billing due dates. You will do this by setting up the billing terms editor. You will use the billing term editor to specify the invoice due dates which you can assign to your customers. It can also serve as a guide for determining discount for early payment of invoices or vendor bills. But the thing about GNU Cash is, as of GNU Cash 2.6.7, billing terms are only partially supported. The date due is calculated using the billing terms, but discount amount is not. The program only partially supports discounts and the workaround is to apply it manually. To begin, select business from the menu bar and when the menu opens select the billing terms editor. When the dialog box opens click on new. The new billing term window opens. Enter the name of the billing term in the name field. I entered billing terms here. In the description field this is the description that will be printed on invoices such as please pay within 30 days. You have two different type billing term options. 
days and proximo. Days is shown by default. Due date is the due dates the invoice or bill is due to be paid within this number of days after the post date. If you select 30 days and you create an invoice with a date of, let's say, 1st of May, the invoice will be considered expired on May 31st. Discount days, the number of days after the post date, which a discount will be applied for early payment. Discount percentage is the percentage of discount that will be applied for early payment. In most cases, you will probably use the days option, but you also have another option. Click on the drop down arrow here and you see you have another billing term option type. Proximo. Proximo means of or occurring in the next month after the present month. In the due date field, the due date is the day of the month bills are due. For instance, the first of the, each month. Discount day is the last day of the month for the early payment discount. The discount percentage is applied if paid early. Cutoff day is the cutoff day for, the, for applying the bills to the next month. After the cutoff, bills are applied to the following month. Negative values count backwards from the end of the month. Click on OK to save the billing term. Click on New to create another billing term if needed. An example is the billing term you will use on your bills. When finished, click on Close to close it out. This concludes the end of Part 1 of Invoicing with GNU Cash. In the next tutorial, we will actually be working on invoicing. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.